Now, if you go to hospital emergency room, you're not admitted to the hospital. That is when that copayment comes into play. If you are admitted to the hospital, then there is no copayment. Also, if you are treated at some other local non-hospital emergency facility, there is no copayment. Generally speaking, the monthly premium on a plan N is less expensive than a plan G, and if you're relatively healthy and you do not have a lot of doctor visits each year, looking at a plan N is a good idea. So if you have decided that you are going to have Medicare, Part A and B, as your main coverage. If you have decided that you do want a Medicare supplement policy, if you have decided on what plan letter that you want, then the next choice is what company. All Medicare supplement plans are standardized. So let's say, for example, you have decided that you do want to get a Medicare supplement plan G as a secondary to your Medicare. In your area, there are going to be very many companies that do offer the plan G. The benefits of the plan G are going to be exactly the same with each company. This is a good thing because this means that you do not have to analyze and study the different benefits of the plan G from each company because there are no differences. They're all exactly the same.